Hello everyone, this is David Luscombe, and this is my very first tutorial on the game Rumble. Now, it is important that you have both Python and Pygame installed. So we're going to head over here to nostarch.com slash invent with Python slash. Now, I will also include this link in my video game uh, description on YouTube. And here you need to make sure that you have both Python and Pygame installed. And it is very important that the two versions are compatible with each other. And so this website gives you two versions that are compatible. And that just makes it incredibly easy. And this will also work with, with the game that, that we will be creating. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at the Rumble clone. So are you ready to, to start doing some code? This is pretty awesome. So our first code that we're going to type in is import pygame, comma, sys, comma, random, comma, time. Now, pygame is the graphics part of Python, so we need to import that. And then sys, that is very important for accessing functions and other content and then random well so whenever we have the teleportation devices in this game it will teleport the player to a different part of the screen but we don't want the player teleported to the exact same coordinates every time we want kind of like a random area so maybe we want the player teleported somewhere in the bottom right hand corner but we might want the player to be teleported between this point and that point, and we want the computer to pick a random spot between those two points that would be located in the bottom right-hand corner. So that is what that is for. And then we have this module called time. Now time is extremely important. So let's just say that you win the game, and we want some text displayed on the screen that says you win. Well, if we just have that text displayed, the computer will throw it up there for maybe half a second, and then it'll disappear, and the player won't have time to actually read the text. So that's why this time module is so important, because we can tell the program to display the text, and then wait five seconds before moving on to the next line of code. So that way the player has time to sit there and actually read the text. Okay, and then, so this is a module called time that we are importing. These are all modules up here. And from time, we are going to import sleep. So it's like time is, is this category by itself. And then we have some categories under that category of time. And one of those is sleep, and that's what we're going to use to tell the program to pause for five seconds or 10 seconds, or however many seconds that we want it to pause for. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next group of code. Okay, now this is very important. So if we display text or anything like that on the screen, we need to write the text with a certain color. Do we want the text to be written with black or white, or do we want blue text or green text? And so that's what this is for. We are defining colors. And so I'm going to type in black uh, space equals space. And then we have um, in parentheses, we have these numbers, 0, 0, and 0. Now that is RGB colors. So that is the red, green, and blue. And if we go back to this nostarch.com uh, website, you can actually click on this link, RGB colors, and you'll be able to look at more of these examples. But let's go ahead, let's head on back to the game, and let's take a look at some more code. Okay, so now this is the screen dimensions. And we, we want to set the screen height and the screen width, and this will give us a screen for our video game. And then we clearly type in Windows Surface equals pygame.display.setMode. 
And then we take the variable screen width and the screen height, and we let the program know that we want to start at zero. Now zero means in the upper left corner. So this screen is going to be drawn from the left uh, down. And so what that means, uh, that, let's go ahead, let's run this, and let's see what the screen width and screen height do. Okay, so we have created this window, and up here in the upper left corner is zero, zero. And what happens is, as you go across to the right, the x value will increase. And as you go down, the y value increases. So the x and the y are 0, 0 up here at the upper left hand corner. And then that value will increase as you go down and as you go to the right. So that's very important. If we want to um, place the player, over here or the computer over here, then we need to type in the coordinates that we want the player to appear on the screen when the game first starts, and also when the game restarts. Um, so that, that's very important.